Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news in today is, of course, it's the day after the inauguration. Michelle Obama is looking younger than ever, picking some very stylish choices for the election. Obama is showing the gray and becoming a little bit more belligerent than ever. Oh, wait, what was that? Well, he's the president now, again. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on for comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you believe what's going on in the press, when you have, they're waiting for CBS News to basically clamp down bad on one of their, on one of their editors for giving advice to the president on how to destroy the Republican Party and save this country by becoming a parliamentary style government with only one party rule. Uh, and they said that unfortunately he did it in print. And uh, they've got, they, see, he is hung because that's supposedly not, there's supposed to be an independent thing and now he's giving advice for a, pre, a political leader, he, you know, um, they, they have to fire him. This is not one of these people that they can let by because he is the, he is the director of political, uh, political, the news division uh. for CBS and, and the same went on that it's time that we destroy these sons of, you know, whatever it is. and and turn this country over to the people and ah. yeah that, that did not go over well with most of the people on the left you know I think NBC even said this was totally wrong so and they, they, they're in a tank for Obama anyway and Obama it's my way or the highway oh he's really got the man's got to turn over he wants Congress to give him 36 billion dollars to make up for the damage that we're doing to the environment what? he wants to he's basically got to sign on to that UN treaty which they said he wasn't going to sign on to because he needed permission of Congress to do it. He's going to do it without their permission. And he wants $36 billion to pay penalties for our polluting the atmosphere. They said that, uh, they, 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 one person pointed out that uh, Bonniers kissing his rear only goes so far. He's not yeah. going to give him money. He's gonna, they said he'll give him the taxes, but he's not going to give him money. Mm. And that's not going to happen. So everywhere he wants money, he's not going to get it from the... I mean, they got Democrats that aren't going to go along with it. They're not going to admit that we've done anything wrong. <laughs> and Minister Somber Newton needs MLK's words of hope. Okay, I'm going to try to put this. In my era, people, people got knocked off all the time. You didn't have a national day of mourning because some children got killed. It happened. Mm -hmm. I was there, you know, when a flood took out a hole. I mean, we're not talking, that, you know, just a few people at school. A flood took out the whole bloody school. What? Yeah, and what it made the news and the headlines. The next day, everybody helped to get the town back mm -hmm. to order. That's what you did. You don't have a national year of mourning over some people. Oh, is that what they're doing, a national year Oh, they want a national year of mourning for the people that were, for the children that were killed. I'm gonna, we're going to try something, even in Obama's religion, which is Muslim, that, you, you know, that, you die when you're supposed to die and not a day or a day later, which unfortunately, they, if you work on any religion in the universe, the children were never meant to get any older than what they were. Mm -hmm. And Russia plans to send probe to the moon in 2015. Yeah, and, and Obama will probably pay, the, uh, pay for the process of it being done because, ah. I mean, we're no longer in a space program, we're in a Muslim outreach program. Mm. And astronomers discover the largest known structure in the universe. Which is obviously a mistake. Oh. Uh, and, you know, if you find a, you, a structure means made by man, oh. which means if they discover something that is a structure, then they've discovered life somewhere else, which uh, it, it, it was, it, you know that it was, um, it probably, the what they meant was the largest weather-made structure in the world, in the ah. universe, so. And Spanish cuts widen Europe's north-south research divide. Spain has no money for it. Okay, Spain was the leader in green technology, and they went busted. Oh, they did. And now they stopped. They're no longer. They they, it, they lost four jobs for every job created. So that that just what busted the country. The country was profitable. Green energy destroyed the economy. So they're not going to invest in the research anymore. And weightlessness is no cure for morning clumsiness. Or clumsy's astronaut says. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's exactly the reason why. Because it, the, it's you. You can't get used to it on Earth. You have, you know, it, it, you and um, what they said was the funny thing is that you lose bone density when you're in outer space. So is that what you do? So it, it therefore makes you more and more clumsy. And studies find hardy Earth microbes may resist condition on Mars. 
Uh, yeah, but they, they basically, because they're finding water, they're finding this, they're finding that, so. Yeah, and the former New Orleans mayor, Negrin, charged with corruption. Oh, I know. I mean, the, the, uh, basically, he was their shining example of hatred for George Bush. Oh, he was? Yeah, and he basically he got himself bounced out of office because of corruption. So, uh, it just, uh, you know, I think what it was was, um, it, 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 it's the people you know, almost always know who the problems are with because they're the ones that are the most spoken. The word we've got to do this, we've got to do that, and they all they all know from personal example. And New York newspaper takes gun down gun owner details from website. Well, they say it because it served its purpose. No, what? what? It, what no. They passed a law in the state of New York that made it a criminal offense to do it. They didn't do it voluntarily. So, I mean, they just wanted to make it. The problem was is that they are going to, they have been notified. I mean, the Gannett Company was notified. Anybody that suffers an injury or threats as a result of what your people did will be tried in a court of law because they blew the whistles on um, undercover cops. They blew the whistles on people in safe homes. They blew the whistles on people that had identity changes. Mm. So uh, it made a lot of very people unhappy. And they also told people which houses to rob. They said, these guys don't have guns, go rob their house. These guys have no security, go rob their house. Uh -huh. yeah. And the U.S. Air Force finds pornography offensive material in inspection. Well, <laughs> okay, what was the big news about that one? They always will find that. I mean, basically in every locker. I mean, don't, they, they've never seen a, a war movie where they've got all the pictures of the, of the half-naked girls and the naked girls or the police gazette from the turn of the sand. Right. Last, the, all of those are everywhere, folks. I mean, they... Uh, okay, well, go, let's go tell you an episode of Mash where they tried very hard to get the naughty film and their doctors. Uh, and Michelle Obama rolls eyes at John Boehner and sets the internet aflame. Oh, yeah. Well, even the Democrats thought that... Did, did she really, she really yeah. did that? They thought that... Uh, here is the basic call, is that these two were probably the most arrogant individuals that they had ever seen at, a, at an inaugural. Both of them? Both of them. They're just showing pure arrogance. Uh, one person said... The man has got 40% of the vote. That's all he has. He doesn't have a mandate. He's got 40% of the vote. And they said that, I would give you absolute certainty, he would not have been reelected if the Republicans would have put somebody out there that had any like. He said he didn't have to have a lot of likability. He just had to have some likability. And, and be younger, like a couple uh, decades. Yeah, a couple of decades. If, they, if they'd have put a younger candidate that was obnoxious, he still won. They, nobody's going to elect anybody Romney's age. It's the same way Biden expects to be president of the United States. Well, but see, Biden knows something that you don't know, what? which is mean that Senate of the United States controls Barack Obama's presidency. When they want Obama gone, they're going to bring Benghazi up and they're going to hang him with it because uh -huh. they know he gave the orders. Mm -hmm. Then Biden becomes president, and Biden says, as president of the United States, this is what I'm going to do this year. Just, he said this year. Oh, he did say that? Yeah, he said specifically this year. Which means it looks like uh, Obama is on a very short leash, because Biden makes Biden uh, makes Freudian slips. He's telling you what he knows is is. Uh -huh. So Biden is looking forward to being well, president. It, the question is, were they really Freudian slips? No, they're not Freudian slips. Yeah, that's it's what I mean. he makes a point of saying exactly what what he wants people to hear and. And, and uh, then people say, yeah. And basically, that probably scared the pants off of Obama, because he knows he's there. By virtue of the Democratic Party keeping him in power, and they have Benghazi that they will totally wrap. I'm around. still surprised they haven't. It's like they're just waiting. That's why they're. That's why the hearings are going nowhere. Because if not, basically, murder does not go away. Yeah, isn't there? There's no statute of limitations on murder. That's right. Yeah, and. The Supreme Court to hear cases over spurned lover Alan Stanford. Oh, that's ridiculous. The guy's in jail, folks. He's, I mean, he's never going to get out of jail. First of all, they put him in jail without a trial. I mean, he's been setting, okay, one of the people in his organization was given a five-year sentence for the crimes he committed. Um, he, he gets out of jail in a month. Oh, really? He, yeah, because he's been in jail for that long. You know, so you you know the 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 spurned lover bit has no chance whatsoever uh -huh. because the uh, problem is Stanford is a Republican because he's a Stan he's a Republican they decided to screw him so. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Often you just have to do it. Cool.